Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the performance of the Super Strike Vegeta Kid in the Pure Sands Extreme Super Battle Road stage. Now Vegeta Kid is pretty good. Uh, he takes a little bit of time to build up, nothing too crazy. Uh, but he does take a little bit of time to get going. But the one nice thing about him is he has stunning. And stunning is a very effective mechanic uh, in Extreme Super Battle Road stage, any of the stages, just in general. Stunning is a super powerful ability. And when you've got a unit like Vegeta, who has a high chance to stun, but also has the ability to fire off a additional super attack, it's a pretty good kind of sign from him. So we will take a look at his passive. Uh, just kind of talk through that and then just see how he does. Uh, generally speaking, Pure Sands ESBR is a pretty hard stage. Uh, the bosses here hit pretty tough. Um, and they can hit some pretty high attack stats. So yeah, overall I think it's a fairly nice stage to evaluate Vegeta on. The difficulty with Vegeta is kind of getting him into teams. You kind of have to make a more Vegeta centric team because he's reliant a lot on Royal Lineage, Sane Lineage, and Sharing the Limit to be his keylings. So yeah, but um, in terms of Vegeta, yeah, he's got attack and defense of 100%. When performing a super attack, he gains an additional attack and defense of 20% with each attack performed, and he's got an additional attack of 20% with each super attack performed. So the more super attacks you can do, the faster the attack stats gonna ramp up. Then you have an additional defense of 50% if there's another youth category ally attacking in the turn, and you have an additional defense of 50% with another gifted warriors category ally attacking in the same turn. You also launch an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack with three or more key spheres obtained. Now this is pretty simple um if i'm honest his pass is pretty nice obviously you know based on the premise of the passive alone it's pretty obvious that he's you know a very good second slot unit he's not really designed to kind of be in the first slot he's not really meant to exist in that slot he's not you know, he can't tank face up damage but he's pretty good otherwise so what we're going to do is, uh, you know, what we've tried to do is we've tried to make sure there's a Gifted Warrior to trigger some part of his passive. Um, obviously getting both is relatively difficult on all of his teams. You can get it done pretty easily on the Youth team, or obviously the Gifted Warriors team. But yeah, generally speaking, I find that it is pretty, um, yeah, uh, but I pretty, yeah. Pretty much, uh, how can I say, he's relatively easy to get at least one of them done with, which I think is all he needs. You can see there, 104k um, with no item, which is quite substantial, but that was his first attack. He didn't get a double super. Uh, so generally speaking, it's not bad. Uh, 104k is not bad. With no item, type neutral, pure sans ESPR, it's a pretty good starting point, if I'm being entirely honest. So yeah, I think uh, Kid Vegeta does a pretty good job. I think the nice thing about him is his stunning. I think his stunning is very, very good. I think it's something that can really help out the team. And he's got decent defense after supering. He definitely still takes a turn to get going. You're not gonna be able to um, you know, work with Adam at any given point. But I think like you definitely you know, can make use of him. Like, if you're struggling for options, he could be a great floater. He can be a great second slot unit. He can uh, bring utility, which is great. His link set is okay. Uh, he's missing maybe prepared for battle, but generally speaking, he's got enough key links to kind of function as a second slot unit. So yeah, he looks fairly good overall. I would say he's an incredibly... Uh, solid option here as a unit so 
yeah for me i think that's really 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 cool and yeah for the most part i think uh, i think vegeta is a pretty usable unit obviously you can see here uh, i'm kind of setting him up nicely you know i'm uh putting him in the situations where he's you know catered to he's got you know no um he's got obviously no need to tank in the first slot uh, we're using an item here we're gonna see how much he tanks a type neutral attack for obviously ideally he would get the stun um which would be pretty good sorry type disadvantage attack so yeah overall um it's gonna be interesting to see just how well vegeta does and we'll take a look at his damage obviously 1.6 uh, million is not too much but it does ramp up pretty quickly uh, the second attacks up to 2 million which is good so all of a sudden yeah, you've done some decent damage you've got the stun and now you're really just set up to yeah handle everything more than fine obviously if it wasn't a showcase i would probably have you know just left him to chance out the stun because there is a pretty decent chance for him to stun yeah, he's got the, a decent ability to fire off multiple super attacks and each of those super attacks has a 50% stun chance. So there really is a decent amount of kind of control that you can get and give uh, to Vegeta and that Vegeta can give to your team. So for me, I'm pretty happy uh, overall. I, I would say, you know, for me, I think he's incredibly incredibly useful is he gonna carry the run definitely not uh but you know you can definitely make use of him like i said his best place is probably as a floater that is where i see him being utilized the most but he's definitely a useful unit like there's no doubt about it he's 100 percent a super duper useful unit and yeah just for the most part he really can do a great job so yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of see how he tanks here. No item. Um, or we'll, you know, we'll skip a turn and then see how he does. We'll get one more turn in with him, I think, uh, just to get a good idea of how well he does. This is where you can see that stunning uh, kind of really come into play. Uh, although you can see his key issues here. Um, you know, because he's not sharing anything major he's not sharing like any super crucial links no prepared for battle no anything like that and because his royal lineage is not at uh link level 10 he does not actually have uh, a two key link even though he's technically between two different forms of vegeta so there is that that comes into play and i think that's really his only problem at least running him on the specific team that's where i find leaving him as a floater uh, is generally an okay procedure like for me at least it's generally okay but yeah i think uh, for the most part fuji has done a pretty good job i think as a unit he's very solid i think he um you know can add that utility he does some decent damage he doesn't take too long to get going so if you have him pop up in the first turn you use an item he'll be okay by the next time he's around he'll be a little bit better um and yeah it doesn't yeah he's not taking five turns to ramp up he's significantly better from his second appearance so that's always something you also need to factor in when you talk about these type of units you really need them to be impressive uh in their second way in so but yeah generally speaking vegeta does a good job i'm pretty happy with how well he does and yeah for me overall i'm i'm quite happy i want to say but yeah that's going to be it for me uh i think that's everything we need to see about vegeta we're going to get knocked out this turn uh, unfortunately but yeah i think for the most part like vegeta is a solid option if you're looking for that missing link for your team if you're looking for uh, the ability to just you know kind of control things and you need a stun uh, or some kind of ability to hold things down then i think vegeta is going to be your guy and i think he's going to do a great job and yeah i think for the most part um i can be pretty happy with how well he's done i would say on a scale of like you know 
1 to 10 as a free to play. I think Vegeta did uh, around a 6, 7 uh, in terms of performance. And the only real lingering kind of, okay, this isn't so great, is his link set. It's a little bit, mm, a little bit wonky, a little bit not so great. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. You know what? That's it. That's going to be it for me. But yeah, if you are wondering if you can use them, you definitely can. You just need to, you just need to basically, uh, yeah, give them a try. His stuns, if they hit, will definitely give you some great utility, and it's going to help a lot of you complete this stage. But it's a tough ESBR anyway, so I think overall he does a really, really good job. But that's it from me. Bye.